today, we're going to find out who the best team in the world is through EAFC Imperialism. Instead of using the Champions League to determine the best team, I've put the 32 teams in the UCL on a map to battle it out until only one team remains. Our first wheel spin, who will it be? It's going to be Dortmund. All right, the BBB Bumblebees are going to be going south, it seems, to face their rivals. We're late into the second half now. Adeyemi with the ball. Is he about to do Danny Aaron's proud? Oh my goodness, how has he missed that? No one can find a goal. Wow, we're going to extra time. Final minutes of extra time. Can Bayern cook up a goal? It's played inside the box. Back over to Davies. Off to Kane. It's a goal. What a finish. That's going to be the winner. A great pickup for Bayern as their win earns them Kobel as a great keeper. Dortmund bottled this game like the league last season. That's crazy. They're off the map now. On to the next spin. This time it's Real Madrid. Okay. The hour is going to point Real East, which means we're going to have a Madrid derby. Oh no. An error in the backfield. Rodrigo's going to take the ball. He's firing it. Oh, it's gone off the post and cleared out. We couldn't settle a winner in full time or extra time, so we'll be going to penalties. Griezmann to start things off. Any slots? It in. Modric with his pen. Wow, what a shot. Depay to take his shot and he beats Kepa to the right. Alaba's turn and he missed it. What was that? Morata steps up to try and extend the lead. He's done it. Cruz needs to put this one in, but Oblak is there. If Kolke scores, he sends Real Madrid home. Can he do it? He shoots. He scores. What an upset. Atletico Madrid are now going to add Valverde to their midfield. Wow, what a crazy win. Atleti are now going to have a third of Spain. We've got our third spin. Which team is it? Barca. All right. And they'll be going directly northwest to face Sociedad. Barca would make quick work of their opponent as one goal would be enough for them to eliminate Real Sociedad. There goes the whistle. Clean sheet for transplant Ter Stegen. For some more death, Barca are able to pick up Marino. And Barca are going to be able to expand their land to the west. Here we have the next spin and it lands on Newcastle. Where does the arrow take them? It's pointing slightly southwest. They're going to be going up against Man City, the oil classico. Who will come out on top? The first half would be a disappointing one for Newcastle as all their shots just could not get through Ederson. But in the second half, it'd be a different story. Newcastle putting on a ton of pressure trying to find that goal they deserve it's gordon down the wing he takes a shot it's saved rebound opportunity it's messy but newcastle are up one nil newcastle just holding on to the ball and i think it's over another big favorite taken down by the underdogs a big addition is coming to newcastle as holland is now their striker newcastle take down england's giants and expand their territory another spin of the wheel and this time we're heading to italy with lazio which direction will they be heading it's southeast a battle between two unlicensed teams in fifa lazio behind immobile would take the lead early in the first half that finish was butter can't give him that space man and that lead would not be lost as that would be the only goal in the match lazio would acquire Osiman a new striking partner with immobile great win from lazio they take over the boot part of italy we go again on the wheel and it's some dutch action as it picks psv arrow's gonna point southwest psv versus feyenoord who will take full control over the netherlands with 120 minutes unable to decide the game we're going to pens Jimenez versus benitez and benitez wins the battle irving lozano tries to go left but the keeper gets there Anko, can he be the first to score he can dion now surely someone scores and there we go it's now 3-3 but all psv need is for shooten to score for them to move on shooten steps up and he goes down the middle the balls of steel psv take it in pens they'll be taking Hankel from feyenoord psv are now gonna have full control over the netherlands here we go for a lucky number seven spin which club will it be it's royal antwerp and the arrow's gonna point royal antwerp southeast to play lawns the teams would trade pen after pen until it came down to the winner vermeer into the spot can he win it for antwerp he goes left freezes the keeper and they've done it antwerp would be able to improve in their gk spot as they add samba big upset wins and they're gonna take over a chunk of france moving on to our next turn we're taking a trip back to england as it's arsenal this time we'll be going southwest but royal antwerp are actually gonna play again while royal antwerp were feeling hot off that win arsenal would stop them right in their tracks as they say your defense is in trouble when enketi is in the room great goal for him unfortunately for antwerp their little run would be cut short as arsenal dominated this one nil game to add to their depth arsenal picked up Alder world arsenal will come in and sweep up all that land gained from royal antwerp nicely done let's move on to the next spin and it's landed on rb leipzig here we go and the arrow is slightly pointing towards Bayern territory coming in as the big favorites it would be trouble for Bayern early he with the ball he spots chavi simmons in the box great pass great goal could we be seeing another underdog win and rb leipzig wouldn't stop there at one goal leipzig looking to find someone in the box it's openda open the door because leipzig just bust through Bayern's defense wow Bayern would not give up and back down though as nick a30 would say they got a goal back okay only down one now leipzig are kind of crumbling they're letting Bayern dominate position session Sonny has it. Gives it to Musiala. Musiala takes a finesse and it gets around both the defender and the keeper. Wow. This match is now somehow level. We're gonna have to settle things in extra time. This is nuts. Openda controlling it. He passes to Schlager. Schlager finds an open Danny Olmo. He's not missing that. Leipzig are back up on top in extra time. Time is running low. Bayern are gonna need a miracle. Every shot is blocked. I think that's it. It's over. Leipzig fend off the comeback. Kane is gonna end up joining Timo Werner up top on Leipzig. A big win for Leipzig. Is that 
earns them almost all of Germany. Back to the wheel we go, this time around it's Celtic out of Scotland. The Scottish representatives seem to be heading slightly southeast to play FC Copenhagen. It seemed to be an ongoing theme as yet we had another match extend into extra time. But finally, a team would strike in extra time. Copenhagen looking to start this thing off on the right foot. It's a pass to LaRager. LaRager from out here, he fires it for a shot and it's a goal. Just got it past the keeper for a 96 minute goal. Scotland's finest are going to be eliminated here as the game is about to end. A much needed upgrade in the midfield is going to come in for Copenhagen. FC Copenhagen are going to be able to take over the entirety of Scotland. We are 11 turns in and on this turn it will be Red Star Belgrade. The Serbia side is going northeast meeting Shakhtar. Unfortunately for Red Star Belgrade fans, they are not in this game. So Shakhtar will have to win by default and take over Serbia. Moving on, we spin again. Who do we land on? It's going to be Benfica. Benfica are surrounded and the air takes them northeast to play Atleti. Atleti go with the ball. Looking to start hot. It's inside to Morata. Morata fancies his chances and that's a nice finish to give him his team the early lead. Benfica would keep themselves in the game as they'd reply quickly. Wow, nice. I thought they were just going to roll over and let Atleti go take this match. But good thing I was wrong. The second half would be the opposite of the first as only one team would end up scoring. Benfica got a counterattack going. Rafa back out to Kaku. Kaku shooting and oh my god what a goal. Travella goal. Are they about to take down this insane Atleti team? Big win for Benfica on the back of some late game heroics. They're gonna get Griezmann from Atletico. This team might end up being dangerous. The Portuguese side are gonna expand into Spanish territory with that win. Alright let's see who plays next and we're staying in Spain with Sevilla. The arrow will determine who they play and it's northeast again meaning Benfica play once more. Benfica would stay red hot as they were here to take down another La Liga team. Rafa's just running it down through the back line and he's gonna end up finishing it. Wow. The lead wouldn't last long though as Sevilla got a goal back off a Suso finish. Rafa would have a chance to put his team back up but he bottled it like he played for Spurs. Late into the second half Benfica would find themselves in trouble as Sevilla would grab a free kick in dangerous territory. Rakitic takes a free kick. It's gone off the bar. The rebound opportunity. It's bounced to a Sevilla player and that's gonna be a goal. Disaster strikes for Benfica. Game over for them. That is just unfortunate. Griezmann is getting passed around like that one girl at your school. Now he's on Sevilla. Off the back of that win Sevilla will take half of Spain. What will the wheel decide here? It'll be AC Milan. Milan are gonna go on an adventure to the southeast to play Lazio. This Italian bout would see a drought in terms of goals as no team could find the one to break it open. But in the second half, Ocean Man would take Lazio by the hand to give them the goal they needed. Great finish from Ocean Man. That's a new addition putting in some work. Lazio looking to close out the game here. They might even score another goal and they do. They're gonna come out on top and they look to be the best out of Italy. Their attack is gonna get even better as Liao joins the squad. Man, Lazio take out another Italian club. It's only Inter for them left to face. Another spin, another turn. Which club is it? Galatasaray. Okay. Which way will they go? It's northwest to play Shakhtar. Galatasaray's new signings would shine as Zaha would open things up in the 14th minute. The Turkish club would keep their foot on the gas as they added one more goal onto the tally. Shakhtar just couldn't get anything going as they end up falling here 2-0. Galatasaray pick up Stepanenko from Shakhtar. The Shakhtar had lots of land. Galatasaray are gonna have lots of territory to work with. Where will the wheel land next? Ah, it's Man United. Arrow is just gonna slightly point toward Leipzig's German territory. Leipzig playing a nice counterattack here. Some beautiful passes. The ball has found Harry Kane. Onana's moved off his line and it's in. Classic Onana's Leipzig take the lead. And Onana's prime form wouldn't stop there. Ball into Chavi Simmons. They can't close out in time and that is another goal 2-0. What a performance from Man United. Seems very realistic. Leipzig are gonna keep moving. Leipzig are looking very dangerous as they add Casemiro. RB Leipzig's streak keeps going and they're gonna add some English territory to the tally. We are now halfway through with some teams like PSG and Milan who have yet to play a game. Speaking of the devil though, we finally see Inter play as they land on the wheel. This one's a tough call but with the arrow pointing that way, I think they're gonna be playing RB Salzburg. Salzburg looking to upset the UCL runner-ups. This might be the only chance they get and he's got a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He goes for the chip and no way, how has he missed that chance? We're now in extra time. Could we see a penalty shooter or will someone score? Salzburg with possession. Inter's defense is looking kind of shaky. The gaps are there. Salzburg are trying to find a goal. It's crossed in and it's amazing. A header from out of nowhere. Inter could not capitalize on anything and they're going to fall short. Salzburg reward for their win is going to be Lautaro Martinez. What an upset win. The Austrian club move into Italian land. Time to spin again and it's a new face in Young Boys. Where will they head? And it's southwest to meet PSG. PSG would hit the ground running as they made Young Boys look like they were just young boys who had no idea what they were doing on the pitch. Big 2-0 win for PSG. This team is scary even though they've lost Neymar and Messi. And they're going to take Nassame from Young Boys. The French Giants are going to devour 
Bar, Switzerland, like some Swiss cheese as they expand. Who's the team going to be this time? Looks like it's Barca. Let's see where the arrow takes Barca, and it'll be slightly southwest of the Portuguese side. Barca weren't playing around as they put shot after shot on target like it's a little John song. And in the final minutes of the game, one would finally go in. The cross, it finds Jao Felix, it's headed in, a goal at the death. Barcelona are still alive and kicking. Barca take Horta from Braga. Off the back of that Jao Felix goal, Barcelona are now even with Sevilla on land. Let's see where the next spin takes us. We're going to England with Newcastle. Newcastle seem to be going straight north as it hits Copenhagen territory. Newcastle would strike early as Miguel Almiron was back in his prime form. Copenhagen, can they strike back though? And they have, but... Oh, wait, it's offside. That is so unfortunate. It would all go downhill from there for FC Copenhagen as goals poured in from the Newcastle side. And they even got a red card to top things off. The game would end 3-1 as both sides traded some last goals. McGregor is now going to move to Newcastle. This team is looking like a well-oiled machine, if you know what I mean. They now have Scotland and Denmark. Another spin, another destination, and it's German club RB Leipzig. RB Leipzig are going to head northeast to play another German club, Union Berlin. RB Leipzig's dominant run in Germany seemed to be in danger as Union Berlin took the lead before the first half came to a close. Last 15 minutes, they've had three shots in 96% possession. That is insane. It's only a matter of time until they score. 89th minute, it's looking bleak, but Leipzig haven't stopped attacking. A cross comes inside the box. Harry Kane's big fat forehead is there, and that's in the back of the net. Leipzig are gonna take this thing into extra time. Time is ticking down, but we may have another opportunity for Leipzig. It's passed down into the box for Kane, and it's Kane who strikes again at the last minute. Leipzig looking to close things out as the clock has hit 120, and they're even gonna add another goal to secure things. Wow, things were looking rough for RB Leipzig, but they've somehow managed to come out of this game with a win. To buff up the back line, Leipzig get Benucci. There we go. Leipzig are gonna have Germany all to themselves. Well deserved. Who's up next? Let's find out. It's PSV. The Dutch side are going south. Southwest hitting Arsenal's French territory. Arsenal looked to be in prime bottle form, but luckily they came away unscathed in the first half. But their luck would run out very shortly. Saibari picking apart this back line. A through ball to De Jong. He's got all the time in the world. What a classy goal. Dangerous corner for PSV. It's whipped in and De Jong is there again. He owns this back line. Wow, I thought Arsenal could make a deep run in this, but they choked it like it was last season's Premier League. PSV are going to get a stud in Odegaard as he joins their midfield. That victory over Arsenal is going to allow PSV to actually move out of the Netherlands while taking over France and England. All right, let's see the next team. It's Sevilla, a familiar face. The arrow is going to point Sevilla West to play Porto. Porto attacking down the wing, getting into the middle here. Now inside the box, it's a shot and it's found the goal. Porto take the lead late in the first half. It's Porto again here on the attack. Lots of pressure down the wing, crosses it in. Martina jumps for it and he makes that keeper his son. Bar down header, what a goal. Sevilla would be able to get one back in the second half, but it would not be enough as they fall to Porto 2-1. With their upset victory, Griezmann once again moves teams. Porto look like they can be dark horses as they've only got Barcelona in the way of them. This wheel spin will determine the final eight. It's going to be RB Salzburg playing for it. And this arrow is going to take us in a battle between the two Red Bull clubs. It would be Leipzig to score first as Timo Werner finally learned how to finish a ball. Salzburg's chances would be crushed as a Harry Kane goal would surely cement the win. Wow, I think Leipzig might be the favorites to win this whole thing. Leipzig's dominant reign earns them another great attacker as they take Lataro Martinez. This German squad just keeps expanding, even if it's at the cost of their fellow Red Bull club, which team is gonna be next it's gonna be Porto which direction will they take Northwest against Barca straight out of the halftime break Barca are just gonna run it down the middle of the field here it's fed to Lewa and Lewa's gonna do Lewa things as he puts them up in the 52nd minute Barca gonna walk away with this one just scraping by with a win and yup Griezmann is once again moving and he's back to Barcelona Barca wipe Porto off the map and that means they now have full control of this side of the map all right let's see what our next club is it's Italy's Lazio Lazio look to be heading Northwest as well this time versus is PSG. This one would be a scrappy battle as no one would be able to find a goal, which of course means it's time for a penalty shootout. Mbappe with the first pen and it's saved. Immobile's pen and he goes right to beat Donnarumma. Dembele runs up, fires it right, and it just gets past the keeper. Castellanos with a drive into the right side. Great shot. Fabian Ruiz, crucial spot, and he doesn't fold. Good pen. Can Liao make it three in a row for Lazio? He can. Hakimi steps up, fires it, shot denied like Hakimi's wife. Donnarumma needs to hold it down for PSG because if Lazio score, it's game over. It's Zagagani with the world's weight on his shoulders and the pen is in. La 
Lazio Cinderella run continues. They take down Giants PSG to stay red hot. Mbappe is now going to be joining Lazio. This team might win it all. Lazio are going to take PSG off the map and they'll be plotting themselves all the way in France gaining more territory. And the next club is Newcastle. Okay, let's follow the arrow once more and Newcastle goes southwest for a battle with PSV. Newcastle came out hot as they beat up PSV like they owed them money. Gordon scores again. This man's a different breed. That would be the lone goal in the matches. It secured Newcastle the dub. As if this team couldn't get any better, they add Odegaard. This Newcastle team just keeps on going as they take more control of the northern side. Who will it land on this time? It's gonna be Galatasaray. I haven't seen them in a while. Time to unveil the direction and Galatasaray go west versus RB Leipzig. Miracle that Galatasaray somehow avoided playing anyone like they were Switzerland. Galatasaray's backline has been broken. Lotaro in the box. Give and go with Kane and that is a nice goal. Another 1-0 finish and credit to Galatasaray. They made it this far. Not bad for them. Leipzig are gonna add Torreira. Leipzig are gonna jump all the way in front as Galatasaray held the most land. Now that will be completely taken over by RB Leipzig. We are coming down to the final four teams and it'll be Barca playing next. Where will the arrow lead them? It's pointing southeast meaning they play Lazio. This match would play out similar to the last couple as it came down to one goal. That was on the loose. This is trouble for Lazio. He's down the wing inside the box. Passed off in the middle to De Jong and oh what a shot outside the box. That is the dagger. The Cinderella run is over for Lazio. They went pretty far so good for them. Barcelona are now adding Mbappe something Real Madrid couldn't do. In just a couple wins Barcelona have gone and taken over the middle of the map. Wow. Whoever doesn't get picked here on this turn moves on to the final so where does it land? It lands on Newcastle. This is the final spin of the arrow and it has Newcastle going southeast touching Leipzig's territory. This match would end up being tighter than two butt cheeks as both teams held on to the game nil nil. Holland with the ball. He looks like he doesn't want this to go to extra time. Plays a through ball. It's Joe Linton with it. The left foot strike. No good. Denied by Guloxi. Call him Emmy Martinez. The heroics wouldn't stop there as Pope made a game saving stop in extra time. Dude, these keepers are playing out of their mind. Corner ripping in here into the box. It's a good cross but the headers denied at the goal line. Wow. I can't believe it. We're settling this thing in penalties. Who will go to the final? Harry Kane to start things off. What a snipe. Char walks up to the spot and he panankas it. Wow. Forsberg's pen. Fools Pope. Great shot. Isak to keep it level but he's gone for this panenka. Lautaro's turn puts it in the back of the net unlike the World Cup. Trippier goes for it and fires left clean. Casemiro's penalty and he freezes Pope. Nice. Murphy needs to score and Newcastle are eliminated and he does. If Bumgarner scores they win and move on all he has to do is put it in the back of the net and he does. RB Leipzig are moving on to the final to play Barcelona. With their final addition Holland will be joining Kane up top. What a dramatic finish. Newcastle are gonna fall short and Leipzig are gonna eat up the rest of the land available. We have made it all the way to the last match. It is time for the final spin and it's to determine who will play at home. Let's give it a spin and it looks like it's gonna be RB Leipzig with home field advantage. In the first half it would be Barcelona to find the back of the net first but it would be a disaster second half for Barca as a red card would put them a man down in a crucial spot. Oh you can't be tackling like that especially when all of Europe is on the line and that carelessness would come back to bite them. Only a minute left in the game. Barca trying to park the bus but oh no it's a disaster pass. What was that? RB Leipzig are gonna take advantage and Kane has tied up the game the last minute and with 120 minutes unable to separate either sides it's gone to penalties. Kane starting things off once again it's gone off the post but it's in. Well with the run up and the stutter absolutely freezing the keeper. Bonucci's turn and he freezes the keeper too. Ninja Turtle where does he go? He tries a panenka what is he doing? Casemiro needs to make this he goes right but Ter Stegen is there. Sergio Roberto is a club legend but not today it's saved. Danny Olmo in a crucial spot but the shot is no good. De Jong needs to spend to equalize but he's choked it away. It all comes down to this. Bumgarner has all of Europe in his hands. If he beats Ter Stegen it's over. He's taking his pen and Ter Stegen doesn't even move. It's a great finish to win it all. There you have it the trophy lift. Leipzig sit on top of Europe an unlikely but legendary run capped off with a penalty shootout win. If you enjoyed this video you'll like my last imperialism video on screen now.